Good morning, good morning. Cool. We did not have a storm last night. Ah, oh, anyway, I've been up since about 10 to 9, I think. It's awake half the night, honestly. Every five seconds, boom, crash. Oh, I could hear stuff moving around in the street. It was constantly waking me up. So far today, I have drunk one cup of coffee whilst finishing the vlog off. As you can see, I'm relatively on top of the washing up. I had a right old um, housework surge last night. I did a load of washing. I hoovered a little bit. Isabel tidied her bedroom and her office. So that was good. She was even hoovering those. It was a little bit late, but oh, it was about nine-ish. But to be honest, I don't think the neighbors could have heard it given where they are because there's like outdoors next to it. I'm gonna fight my way past the uh, drying laundry. and get myself some breakfast. I now have my breakfast. I remembered what else I did last night. A great big online shop for Tesco's to come next week sometime. No, it wasn't. It was Asda's actually because they didn't have any Tesco slots for ages. Oh, it's lovely weather for ducks again. Oh, a bit of hail just came and I landed on my hand. How nice. We gotta go out in this, I think. Anyway, I've had my breakfast now. I'm gonna get dressed quickly, make another coffee, just make sure Izzy is still getting ready to leave for the optician. And then I'm gonna carry on working on tonight's upload to get that up and published until it's time to leave. And then if I don't finish it in time, I'll finish it off when I get back. It's quite a bit later now. I've been sitting at my laptop doing some work. Isabel's been on her laptop doing some work, but we're having a break now to go to the opticians. I've also written my Mother's Day card. So that's going in the post box en route. Don't forget Mother's Day coming up Sunday in the UK. It's been waiting 20 minutes nearly so far. Right, we're out. Got the granny's card in the box and I'll tell you what happened in a minute. We're back from the opticians now. I'm just boiling the kettle because I'm gonna put some tortellini on for our lunch. I'm just gonna do a simple tortellini, literally just a tin of tomatoes and maybe a stock cube and some basil in a saucepan to go over the top of it. And I'm gonna make a salad to go on the side. And that is it. Cheese and tomato tortellini that I bought in Tesco's the other night. So what happened at the optician? Well, we had quite a wait. First of all, we waited at least 20 minutes. Then she went in for a, some sort of preliminary thing. I didn't go in with her. I said, what did you do? And she said, I had to look at a balloon. So I don't know what that was. She looked at some picture of a balloon and came back out again. And then we waited quite a bit again. And then we went in for the consultation in a little cubicle. Turns out that the optician has had two jabs already because I came in and they were like really cautiously. I was saying, are you sure you want me to come in? Because I could wait outside, you know, I'd be breathing in your room and it was enclosed. And she said, it's fine, I've been double jabbed because I have to get so close to people for my work. So that's fine. She had Ari's reading the things, you know, one eye covered, trying it with different lenses and all that. And she was really struggling through the bottom line. And I was thinking, oh no, oh no, I don't remember this before. She's going to need glasses. Anyway, it turns out she's slightly short sighted, but not enough to need glasses. She said she tried her with some lenses that would correct it. She said it made so little difference that it really isn't worth having glasses. She didn't think it would make any difference really. Um, so she's got to go back in a year for her next eye exam, but if she starts to have problems of any sort, then she can go back earlier. I'm going to quickly blend up this tomato stuff because it's a bit lumpy and her ladyship moans about the lumps and it'll be quick and easy to do. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like it's done. Smells beautiful. All that is, is one tin of tomatoes, one veggie oxo cube, one clove of garlic, a little bit of basil out of there. And that's it, and it smells beautiful. And here's the end result. This one's gonna be mine, because this one's got a lot more basil leaves on it off my plant. And for some reason, Izzy slightly objects to it, but I'm trying to train her to like it by just putting a few on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, lovely, simple salad. Again, just with a bit of olive oil and salt on it and stirred in together makes all the difference lovely lovely black olives there out of a jar as well that i had in the cupboard 
So we're going to eat that now and then Izzy's going to carry on with the college assignments after that because she's working on two today and I'm going to carry on working on yesterday's vlog which I've got to do all the post upload stuff for still. It's getting on for four o'clock in the afternoon now. I've been sitting here at my desk. As you see I have contacted GoPro support again and it turns out they've just got delays. They haven't sent me a new label so I can't send my GoPro off so I figured I might as well just put the battery back in and the SD and just go ahead and use it again until the new form comes. I've also edited everything I've done so far and I am currently we transferring because that's what they wanted in the end. Izzy's video singing demo in support of her college application. So that's going across right now. I need to send quite a few other bits as well, but I need to gather them up together. But right now, because I'm in a good state of having eaten a while ago and I'm not all, you know, indigestion-y and stuff, I'm going to go and practice my flute now. And then I'm going to come back and do the college stuff a bit later. That's now done. And in other news, I'm uh, running a backup. <laughs> Hello, it's about five to six now. I'm in my cellar. Um, I'm just sitting on the bottom step, actually. <laughs> I've been playing my flute since I last spoke to you. I had a little 10 minute break for a banana and a biscuit and then carried on again. I practiced the repertoire without any backing track and then I explored some of the new backings that I hadn't heard before, listening to them and just playing along with it a bit, seeing if I can pick out some bits and bobs to play. And uh, Isabel says she's finished her application, so that'll be interesting to read later. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go upstairs now and uh, see what's going on. Guess what? GoPro have been in touch and they finally sent me a new address label to print out and invoice and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get on and just print that out now. I've missed the post, so I won't bother doing the packaging right now. There's still a bit of daylight, but it still looks really stormy and horrid out there. Did I tell you what a terrible storm we had last night? I was lying in my bed and I thought, oh, I can hear the wind getting up and the rain lashing down. I'm going to open both windows so I can really enjoy it and it will soothe me to sleep. No, it did not. It was like a proper tempest, it was. And it was lashing and going and you could hear things going down the road and it was bin night wasn't it so everybody's recycling bags were out and the recycling bins were all crashing about god blimey i was a feared i was at one point i could hear things slamming into my window i think it was just rain but it was as if somebody had thrown a bucket of rain at the window and in the morning when i uh opened my curtains I saw that my window which is supposed to just sort of go like that had gone whoop, and it was like jammed in a really horizontal position and when I sort of managed to pull it back down a load of water that had been pulled on it came water falling down all at once so hopefully there was nobody in the street below because yeah it's a bit like the medieval bucket going out the window you know <laughs> it was an accident right I need to sort out Izzy's paperwork for her application but it's getting a little bit late in the day maybe I should do that I could do it tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. She says she's finished her written part. She wants to send it to her English teacher who has said that she'll look it over. She offered to. Isabel didn't ask her. Isabel had actually asked her English tutor if there were any resources she could access to help her with the formal style of writing. I mean, we've done it all before, but she just wanted to freshen up on it. And the teacher gave her exactly the same resources that I have. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> homeschool mum, triumph. Uh, anyway, I'm going to publicise my vlog which has just finished. This is part of my daily routine to put it on the social media platforms. Well, only Facebook and Twitter. I don't do it with Instagram. Uh, i try and save that for just random pictures. <sighs> oh, Isabel. Earlier, when I was doing my flute, I came up with a musical idea to play along with this thing and I was using my phone to play the actual tracks through the speakers so I didn't have my phone available to film it and I just wanted to do it on a phone so I could just send it off to uh, IB. Anyway, Isabel filmed it for me and she got creative with the editing and I've just had a really, really good laugh at what she did with it so I'm going to actually insert it in the video here. Right, I don't know quite where to come in, I'm not quite sure what's the intro. But this is a tune I wrote called The Dog That Ate The Quiche, and I put it in G minor. One, two, three.
I was literally just about to repackage my GoPro now with this little bit of time before getting the dinner on and I printed off all the stuff and they've only gone and done standard again. It needs to be express. Standard won't work because we're not in the EU anymore. And what I'm thinking is, oh my gosh, if they've done it for mine, they've probably done it for all of the ones that they've done today. Imagine that if everybody else doesn't notice and they just send it off, they're all gonna get their GoPro back again a week later. But I've spotted it. I'll have to get in touch again tomorrow. Third day running. Just been cooking dinner. Look, this is Izzy's t-shirt that she did for herself with marker pens. And unfortunately it's run a little bit. Look, can you see that red there has run a bit. Oh, it's a work of art. I don't know how she does it, honestly. It's, it's an absolute bummer that it's run. I didn't even realise it was in the wash. She sort of sneaked it in. So that's a, a bit of a shame. Luckily she got a photo of it before it went in the wash. I just picked it up out of the basket, saw the white of the back and didn't even twig. So that was my fault for not checking. Anyway, I've done a baby curry. So Isabel is really sensitive to really hot spices and she can't have lemon. So this just simply has cumin, turmeric and coriander plus a stock cube and some soy sauce. And as usual, I've been doing rice in the microwave. And as usual, it's gone everywhere. We're gonna settle down together and eat our dinner now. If you've enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a like? It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more vlogs like this from our lives, please feel free to hit that subscribe button to be notified of when we next upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.